Today we're going to be talking about an amazing program called Pluralize. Hi, my name is Rebecca Meyer, and if you're new to this channel, let me begin by welcoming you. I predominantly talk about tech reviews, gizmos, and gadgets, give you tutorials and tips and things to help you along the way. So if that's something that you're interested in, make sure you hit that subscribe button and don't forget to ring the notification bell. Do you hate syncing your audio to your video as much as I do? I mean, I know it's easy. Okay, you line up the things, you put them together, you clap at some point. But if you're dealing with a large amount of files, it can be a real pain in the you know what. I was on a search and I came across uh, Red Giants Pluralize. Now, this is not an inexpensive program. Recently, I was helping a friend out uh, with his videos on his YouTube channel. You can check him out. His name's Daniel Hartwell TV. And uh, he was actually overseas in Europe and he would uh, be sending me files to uh, to put together to make some videos for him. Um, I do enjoy the editing process, so I was uh, definitely in there to help him out. If you do want to see his videos, I'll, I'll have the, the link in the description box below. At any rate, I had so many files, I mean hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of files mixed between audio and video. Uh, I had given him a point and shoot and a Zoom One recorder and I said, look, you can go on your travel, you can get some information with this and uh, send it back to me, it'll be great. What I forgot about was that uh, it's, it's a real pain to sync your audio to your video, especially when you're dealing with insane amount of files. So I came across Red Giants Pluralize. Um, the rest of this video is going to be really, really short because it's so easy to use. It's probably the easiest program that I've ever used. So I just want to get into some of its features and then we'll go from there. But let's head over to the computer and see what we can come up with. All right, so now we are going into uh, Filmora. I've already put all of my um, files into it. And as you can see, I have a boatload of um, files from the Zoom. And I've also got a boatload of files uh, from the actual camera itself. Now, I've already taken some time. It's taken me about 10 to 15 minutes to figure out which files go with which files. So I know this one goes with this one. Um, so I've, I've drug them down into my timeline. But at this point, I need to kind of figure out how to put them together. So you can see it's got all sorts of uh, waves uh, and, and waveforms. So then my goal is to figure out how to put them together uh, and, and to make this actually work. But I'll be quite honest with you, this is like so super hard. So what I would do is uh, I would try to find where I can match these up, but you can see this, this file form is so crazy long. So in order for me to actually figure out where the uh, sound matches to the actual video is, is really, really hard. And of course you can do the clap method um, and, and line up these wave points. But when you're dealing with like hundreds uh, of files, that gets really, really tedious. So Pluralize was invented and this is like the best thing ever of all time. So what I do is I go into my Pluralize um, and all I need to do is add my media. So what I do is I go into the folder itself and um, I know I've got his folders uh, sitting in here and we just grab literally all of the files itself. And I know like half these files don't belong with the, with the video, but that's okay. I, I don't need to actually know. I just drop all the files in it's going to separate it, the camera versus the recorder, and then it starts going into, into syncing. Um, and it's, it's just gonna put them together for me so it's almost complete. Now I just need to hit synchronize. It will generate new clips, but that's perfectly fine. There's, there's no mess ups between the clips. Now it's synchronized and um, all I need to do then I don't have Adobe Premiere, however, Pluralize will work uh, directly with uh, Premiere. Um, so I have some, ob uh, some options as far as exporting into my timeline. So I'm going to do that because, again, I do not have, um, 
I do not have Premiere Pro. What I do is I have it just go directly into my uh, one of my folders. I hit export and then it starts working away. It has been uh, synchronized. I now have new um, audio and video clips that have been synced together that I don't have to deal with anymore. So I just arrived here in Sweden and uh, I got lost in my taxi on the way here and the taxi driver looked just like Roger Moore. So thank you so much again for watching today. I really do appreciate it. Um, this program is a beast. It is awesome. And honestly, I can't imagine life without it. Um, I absolutely, absolutely, absolutely love this, um, this program. Uh, is it expensive? Yes. Is it worth it? 1000%. All right, guys, I'm out. Thank you again so much for watching. If you're interested in seeing more content like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button and don't forget to ring the notification bell. All right. Peace out.